You think you know Westworld? Well, here's some things you may not have known about the HBO sci-fi series. The only limit here is your imagination. You start in the center of the park. It's simple, safe. The further out you venture, the more intense the experience gets. How far you want to go is entirely up to you. If you're a Radiohead fan, you might have noticed a little sound Easter egg in the second episode. As Tandy Newton's character remembers her gruesome past, the band's song No Surprises begins to play on the piano. When the show's composer Raymond Giovanni was asked why he chose that song, he said creator Jonathan Nolan is a fan of the band and requested it to be in the series. Other Radiohead songs that have been featured so far are Fake Plastic Trees and Motion Picture Soundtrack. Modern songs have often been scattered throughout the entire season. Jonathan Nolan and Raymond Jawandi wanted to incorporate multiple covers to remind people that the world is a theme park. They also wanted the music and reoccurring shot of the piano at the Mariposa Saloon and Hotel to be a reminder that this Western world is all scripted. Westworld might be fictional, but there's still a price tag on attending the immersive amusement park. According to the show's website, it costs $40,000 to enter. This isn't the only high dollar aspect of Westworld. HBO has dished out over $100 million for the production of the first season. Through the costumes, sets, and special effects, it certainly paid off. No pun intended. I got no offense, but I'd rather earn a woman's affection than pay for it. Well, you're always paying for it, darling. And the difference is our costs are fixed and posted right there on the door. The series is based off the 1973 film Westworld, which was written and directed by Michael Crichton, the man who brought you Jurassic Park. Both Jurassic Park and Westworld include dreamlike theme parks that end with a dark twist. Before his death in 2008, Michael Crichton was approached by HBO to turn Westworld into a series. His reply? No. HBO isn't the first company to make an attempt at reviving this story. Three years after the original film, a sequel called Future World was released, but never became as well known as Westworld. Four years after the release of Future World, CBS created a show called Beyond Westworld. Despite only airing three episodes, the series was nominated for two Primetime Emmy Awards, one for an outstanding achievement in makeup, and the other for outstanding art direction in a series. Hints of the sequel Future World are scattered throughout the TV show. In the below-ground storage area for the broken androids, you can see a globe statue at the bottom of the escalators. In the film, an identical one was on display in the arrival area of the park. The name of the park, Delos, is still inscribed along the globe, hinting that the original park had been abandoned. Being a true fan of movies, Jonathan Nolan put personal touches throughout the series. The town center in Westworld is called Sweetwater. Sound familiar? It also happens to be the name of the farm in Nolan's favorite western, Once Upon a Time in the West. Both Evan Rachel Wood and Lewis Hertham appeared on the same cast list of another TV show. In the supernatural show True Blood, Wood played the Louisiana Queen of the Vampires, while Hertham portrayed a pack leader of the Shreveport Werewolves. Though they never shared screen time in these roles, the pair was reunited as father and daughter in Westworld. And here's a bonus one. Eowyn from Lord of the Rings was originally supposed to star in the series. Well, not the actual badass shield maiden. Actress Miranda Otto was signed up to play the stern scientist Teresa Cullen. Due to a scheduling conflict with Homeland, Miranda had to pull out of the series. He came back. I told you I would. Did I see you home? Well, that all depends. Can you keep up? Well, I have to fetch my horse. Better fetch him fast. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know TV. Make sure you subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com. 